Hi, Christian Baldwin here with Black Diamond Mergers and Acquisitions. Hope you guys are doing well out there today. Hey, I wanted to just touch briefly on something that has come up in three different deals recently, and that's something we've never seen before, so I wanted to give you some insight on it. And it really is the PPP loans that are out there and what to do with them if you're in the middle of a transaction and now all of a sudden you've got a buyer that's buying a company and the seller just receive PPP funds. This is, of course, the Paycheck Protection Program that was issued by the federal government through the Treasury as a response to the coronavirus. And so it's a, a great opportunity for small businesses to receive this funding. And the thought is that if you use it for payroll, rent, and utilities, um, all of it or most of it would be for a forgivable loan. So it's a great avenue for a business owner to, to take advantage of. Uh, the question that we're gonna address right now is, well, what do you do if you're selling a company that now has a PPP loan that you just got? Well, here are a couple of things to note. If it's an asset transaction, it probably won't have any impact at all because the selling entity, whether it's an LLC or a corporation or whatever it is, uh, they would have received the funds and the buyer in an asset transaction normally isn't inheriting those liabilities, even if it's short term, uh, unless you've made some sort of exclusion in the deal for the buyer to acquire cash or some percentage of the cash on the balance sheet. So if it's an asset transaction, it's probably not even going to come into play because the sellers receive the cash and they have the liability, whether it's forgiven or not, it still remains with them in an asset transaction. Now let's talk about a stock transaction. It's a little bit different because uh, let's say that the seller just got a PPP loan. So now their, their cash on their balance sheet has increased in short term for the eight week period where you have to keep track of your expenses. That loan is currently a liability. It is not uh, automatically forgiven the day that you receive the cash. And so if you're closing a deal in between day one and at the end of the eight week period, you've got to think about this. So the, the sellers, the assets increased, and also there should be a liability on their balance sheet that matches it. So if you transition the company in the middle of those two months, and it's a stock deal, then presumably the buyer would inherit both the, the cash and the liability. And it would be their responsibility post-close to make sure, and you know the seller's probably gonna have to help with this process, but to make sure that as much of that loan can be forgiven as possible. Um, once it's forgiven, then what you can do is take it off the, the balance sheet from a liability standpoint and convert it to, let's say, miscellaneous income. So it ends up being a wash when it's forgiven, but in the meantime, it's technically, in order for it to balance on the balance sheet, you gotta have the, the cash increase and the liabilities that match it. So it's something we've never seen before because it didn't exist a few weeks ago, but uh, in the last few weeks, we've seen it three times and everybody's asking, well, how do we handle this? What do we do with it? And that sort of thing. So hopefully there's a few tips that can help you if that's something that um, may come into play for a transaction. Hope you guys are staying well out there. And again, if there's anything we can do for you, let us know. Until next time.